If you are using Jira and looking for a way to automate emails after a git commit or commits in another version control system, keep watching this video. We will set up a Jira automation rule that will do just that. Before you get started, make sure you have all apps installed that are necessary for this DevOps automation. To learn more about which apps do you need, see the description of this video. Now let's get started. Begin putting together an automation rule in Jira. From the category of DevOps triggers, select Change Set Accepted. When you select a trigger, you will see all the smart values that the trigger makes available. And that's true for all better DevOps automation triggers as well. I'll copy the change set smart value from here because we will use that in a second. Save the trigger. Before we add the email action, it's recommended to also add the condition before that. And that's because we want to check if that change that is being pushed has actual code changes. It's possible to create change without changing code, like adding a new branch or a tag, and you might not want to send an email about those as well. Let's add a new condition and select advanced compare condition. I'll paste the smart value that I just copied here, which represents many details about the change set. But the only thing I'm interested in here is the number of commits contained in the change set. So I'll just put commits.size the end and that's it I want to check if that number is greater than zero so we can make sure we are emailing about important stuff and not something else now we can go ahead and add the email action and the recipient now obviously you can Fill out the subject and email body as you please, but you can also pull up the documentation of better DevOps automation and use the prepared subject and body template that we created for you. It gives the email notification a nicely formatted layout and displaying all the important information your team needs to know about the newly accepted commit. You can use this one click copy button here and just paste the subject to your rule. And you can do the same with the email body as well. Under more options, make sure you select HTML as the format of the email and turn off the option for converting line breaks. Save your action. And finish your rule with giving it a name and turning it on. All right, and now uh, let's give it a try. Let's say uh, I have some work that I just finished in this repository that I want to commit. I'll create a commit and within the commit message I want to mention the issues that this change or this work is related to and add the commit message. Commit the change and push everything to the central repository. Okay, that's done. Let's hop over to the email client where an email notification should arrive in a second or two. Yep, and there it is. I got the email notification. As you can see, it has a nice layout and formatting, it highlights the issues that are in connection with the committed change, it has information about the affected branch and the author of the change, the commit message, and the change files as well. As you can see, it has two new commits actually in this notification and that's because I already had a, a commit in my local repository uh, before this one. So um, the notification is about the change sets, uh, not a single commit, uh, but all the commits that have been pushed at the same time to the central repository. Email notification is a simple and elegant way to maintain shared understanding within your team 
and create a basis for shared responsibility as per your DevOps strategy. Give it a try now with the better DevOps automation for Jira app. For more DevOps automation options, watch the next tutorial video and find a link below to start your better DevOps automation trial for free. Don't miss our upcoming videos. Click the logo in the middle to subscribe to this channel for Midori updates and tutorials.